Flood concerns are nothing new in Middle Tennessee, and tonight some neighbors down in Franklin worry a proposed development could wash out if it's approved. That's why they're saying no to proposed construction that's surrounded by three rivers. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, the group wants to stop the rezoning. Some of the people who live around here are worried what will happen if the development goes forward as planned. They think that it may add more homes inside that floodplain. That's the Harpeth River. You can see it's coming along that tree line. Laura Turner lives nearby here. It's a field off old Natchez Trace. These walls are called century walls because the water flows through them. They don't get knocked down like wooden walls. So again, a treasured historic asset. It's a field she's seen flood before. People's property rights basically should stop where the public safety begins. It's 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 that simple. It's downstream of Brownland Farms, a horse farm being sold for a 200 acre neighborhood development. Problem is it's surrounded by water on three sides and is partially in the flood zone. There are flooding issues already. Turner says she's worried what will happen downstream if the current flow is altered or stopped up. They're gonna be cutting up, it's a farm now, yeah. that's surrounded by that thing. They're gonna be cutting pieces of land and filling it up to, to build it up like a Sandcastle. Here's what the plan looks like. There's many different sizes and types of units, and you can see the way the water flows around it. So that water's going to go somewhere. Water goes where it wants to go. Turner's not alone. Other groups are looking at how manipulating the floodplain could impact the water flow. But I also talked with developer Kevin Estes. He says they've included floodplain mitigation in their project. They've hired experts to look at it and have presented their findings to the city. Estes says he thinks they can develop the land without impacting people downstream. That water's going to rush not just trickle like it would through grass, rush. But Turner isn't so sure with the way the weather has acted recently. Things are changing. We did not have these fierce, furious, frequent flooding events, um, and I've lived here for 37 years. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. A meeting is being held tonight about the issue. If the land is rezoned, developers say FEMA will have to approve any plan before building begins.